more Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Purple Rodri. As you can see, it looks like I'm near a port, and the reason being is that today we're going to be doing the special event, Deoxys, you know, whole weird island thing, uh, the puzzle, and all those sorts of things. Now, the only way to do this event is by using Game Shark codes or those sort of codes. So there's not really, uh, you know, an efficient, like, you know, real way to do it anymore since you can't go and get the Nintendo event. <laughs> to get the Aurora ticket, but I still wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys, so that's where we are. We're here on Birth Island. Now, this is a very simple puzzle. You know, there are a couple other Deoxys events in other games, and they all have the same little triangle puzzle, which just allows us to take on Deoxys, and it's very simple. I'd say just take the least steps required, you know, to touch the uh, triangle, and that's all it takes. With that, guys, we are ready to take on Deoxys. I'm gonna go ahead and put Achu up in front, and we are ready to begin. So let's go ahead and challenge it. Oh, uh, I think we have to touch this red thing. Here we go, Rodri versus Deoxys, guys. Let's go ahead and take on Deoxys then, the legendary Pokemon. I believe it's legendary. I mean, it comes from space. It looks kind of cool. It looks very legendary. You know, look at it with the big, strong arms and the crazy things. And Okay, so one of the things I want to explain to you guys is I don't have any Pokemon that can weaken it. So, I have par paralyzed it because, you know, I wanted to make sure we put a, st a status effect move on it. But the problem is going to be that Deoxys is probably going to be very, very hard to catch just to just due to the fact that we can't weaken it. If we had a Pokemon that could weaken it or, you know, knew a certain move that wouldn't, you know, completely KO it, that'd be great. But our Pokemon are really high leveled at this point. So, I'm pretty much just going to be on the whole throw as many Ultra Balls at, as possible boat and hope that we can eventually catch it without too much trouble. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. It's Saturday. You know, it's uh, football season, college football season. You know, I'm a senior in university, so I'm definitely going to go and tailgate, you know, grill up some burgers, eat some hot dogs, hang out with the guys, you know. And I'm just kind of excited, you know. It's, it's, it's a good day. It's good to relax. It's a little bit rainy in Florida, which I don't mind at all. The, uh, yesterday, actually, uh, I was walking somewhere with friends, and I felt this breeze. And me and my friend, like, we just, we love the cold weather. So he was like, oh, man, did you feel that? Do you know what's coming? And I'm like, yes, like, you know, the freaking fall winter weather is almost here. Because I feel like we've had so much heat in Florida for the past, like, forever that the two weeks we get that we consider winter here in Florida, which is, like, 65 to 70 degree weather, I just, I cannot wait. Everyone throws on sweaters and stuff, you know, up north. Uh, people would still be in shorts, but here in Florida when we get that we whoop out like all our summer You know our all our winter clothes and we wear them for those two weeks as much as possible Just because it's so nice to actually have a little cold breeze You know I love when I just walk around you feel the cold breeze on your face and you're just like yeah This is the life. I wonder how people in the north do it. They must be so happy up there. Just relaxing just enjoying life just taking in the cold weather, you know, it makes you thankful. Well, it doesn't because I, I, I kind of hate the heat. But I'm sure it makes you guys thankful for the fact that you have, you know, a little bit of coldness, a little bit of breeziness, and you get to just, you know, wear sweaters. And, ah, oh, it must be the life, honestly. I can't wait till that sweater weather comes around, even if it's only for a few days here, you know, far and in between, maybe like three days in November, two in December. Still, when those days come, I am going to throw on the sweaters. I am going to wear the jackets. I'm gonna throw on my jeans and it's gonna be awesome and I just can't wait for those days to come you know I'm, I'm really tired of the heat oh man I, I just can't wait to graduate and then hopefully move somewhere where it's gonna be cold it'd be so nice I feel like I'd get up there though and like I'd enjoy it for a while and eventually I'd be like nope I need to go back but I don't know I, I hope that wouldn't happen to me all right guys so this is taking a long time like I told you guys so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and come back once we finally caught this freaking Deoxys. Well, there we have it, guys, finally, and I'm really, really glad I didn't make you guys wait for that because I went through, like, 60 Ultra Balls. We caught Deoxys. This Deoxys transformed into its aggressive guise. It can fool enemies by altering its appearance. Fire Red, you get the attack style Deoxys. Leaf Green, you get the defense style. We're going to give it a nickname, and it's a nickname that I just came up with on the spot because I think it fits this character very well, and we're going to go ahead and call it Anoxy. 
combination of Deoxys and Annoying, because that it was very annoying to catch this Pokemon. With that, guys, we are done here, and we are finally ready to make our way out of Birth Island. I wonder what was born here. Probably frustration, because that 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 was that is what was born on Birth Island. All right, well, back to Vermilion City we go. Next time, guys, we will continue from this point and continue the legendary hunting. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.